um, hi in this tutorial we will talk about the Brownian motion so if a object moves in a random direction then we call it a Brownian motion for example if you open a bottle of perfume in the center of the room the perfume molecules will diffuse in all the directions and the movement of these molecules will be random so slowly a big uh, slowly the distribution of the perfume molecules will change within the room so initially the concentration will be most at the center of the room and then slowly it will be uniformly distributed all in the room so let's uh, try to simulate a Brownian motion here so uh, let's do an example for simulation we need a random number so in Excel you can get a random number by using this command R A and D and then parenthesis so this will give you a random number so if you click on it again and press then you will get the number will change so this number is from 0 to 1 so if you want to get a number between uh, 0 and 2 then you can multiply this number by 2 so this will give you a number between 0 and 2 so like 1.53328 and if I click again and press this is 0.1614 now I can also say integer so i and t and then have everything else in the bracket so what it will do is it will round off the number so now I will get 1 or I will get 0 so you can press it again sometimes you will get 1 sometimes you will get a 0 so you can copy this number and you can see so you have zeros and ones so sometimes you have zero sometimes you have one now if I want a number from minus one to one what I can do is I can say one minus and multiply this uh, number by two so whenever I will get a zero then it will say 1 minus 0 is 1 and whenever I get 1 then it will say 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so now if I copy this thing it will give me a number from 1 or minus 1 so if I say again so see some of the numbers are 1 and some of them are minus 1 so I can copy them all the way as long as I want so like suppose I copied around uh, 220 so it's approximate I don't know how many numbers they are but so now I can click insert and say scatter plot so you can see that all of my numbers are either minus 1 or plus 1 right so I can press again and say so so the number changes but all of them are either minus 1 or plus 1 so let's delete this and now how will I generate a random walk so let's say that the initial position is 0 and then it so initial position is 0 and then the next position will be this random step so I'll say uh, initial position plus the random step so it will give me the first step and then I can keep copying it so if you click on any number again you will see that what it does it it adds the previous number into the position of the uh, particle or whatever object we are looking at so you can see that and when I change uh, or when I press double click on it and press enter it changes everything so now I can go and all the way I can again copy it until 220 so now you can see that uh, we press it again sometimes the numbers are negative sometimes they are positive so if I take a graph of this uh, walk then you can see mm, insert and I say scatter plot and now you can see that around 200 steps are taken by this particle so because they are 200 about 200 numbers and it goes from 0 to uh, 25 and then goes back and goes up so it's moving randomly but it can only move 
25 steps in a forward direction but if I click on this again double click on it and then press enter then you can see that although it went to 15 uh, units away from 0 but it came back and then it went to the negative side and then came back to the positive so it's a it's a it's a random walk so you can keep keep doing it and you can see that the distribution or the movement changes most of the time so this is how you define a random walk so this is a random walk only in uh, one direction if you want a two dimension random walk all we can all we have to do is uh, we have to generate a one more number like this so we uh, what we can do is I can copy this column and then move or copy this to the next side so you so now so I have two columns with the random steps and then I can generate same way here and zero and then say one plus or uh, uh, initial position plus the random step and then I can copy it double click on the side and it copies so now I can plot a graph of these two numbers together and this one will give me uh, another graph which is a random movement in two dimensions so keep this one here and now if I click again and say enter or this doesn't look very pretty uh, so let's do it again so I think uh, here the, the what happening is that the statistics is not good so let's do thousand points instead of 220 points so uh, I'll copy all these numbers and go until 1000. Yeah, around 1000 points. And then I'll delete this graph and then choose this and say insert. And then instead of the points I'll say format data series and say <coughs> none and line color solid so now you can see this is a random walk I can delete these numbers so that looks well and uh, I can also delete these numbers let's make another uh, so this is a random walk in two dimensions so I can click double click on it and press enter you can see that the particle movement changes from one to another so here you can see that I have used the symmetrical step so it's always one or minus one so what we can do is we can remove the int uh, from it and then it will change uh, the uh, the movement so now let's do remove the int and from here also remove the int so now um, to now you can see I have removed the int and I also removed the uh, 2 we had before so now it's a random number between minus 1 and 1 and the steps are not symmetrical so you can see the steps are all uh, between minus 1 and 1 in column a and b and then from that we describe the movement so you can see that uh, the particle is moving in the random direction so this is uh, about simulation of one particle so uh, so particle can go in any direction so 
uh, if we want to simulate a real world problem or the diffusion of some particles in the real world so instead of using one particle we have to do thousands and thousands of particle simulation and then we can look at the macroscopic or the bigger picture of what is happening there so as you can see that the steps are all between minus one and one so if we take if we simulate uh, thousands of points together and then take the mean position of that particles it will be all zero so the because some of the particle will go in the positive side and some of them will be negative side but all of the uh, the mean should be zero so uh, and then if you simulate thousands of particle and plot their position from the center it will be a gaussian distribution and as you increase the number of steps the gaussian distribution will get flatter and flatter and uh, ultimately it will become a uniform distribution so we will talk about that in the second tutorial and i will also show you how to add a drift into a random walk so i hope this tutorial will help uh, i'll see you later then thank you